Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. So you like these, right? Yes, I like them very much. So we're going to try the Truly Hard Seltzer Lemonade variant, I guess. This is Mango Lemonade. We're not going to try it. I've already had it. I have. You're going to try it. Because <laughs> Brad doesn't get to drink them. So 5% alcohol. The weird part, and I think I noticed this on another one, it's lemonade with mango, but it's got a orange on the top. No, oh, it, it's, it's fine. Just open it. I think that's weird. I don't come down here to overanalyze. <laughs> this was in a 12 pack, a variety Yes, yeah, a variety pack. pack. So it's regular lemonade, black cherry, and mango. Here we go with the white. Okay, to be honest, I've never, I never. Um, I guess it's not. I've never seen the color of it. Because yeah, because you just I drink them out of the can. And drink them. Yep. It. I guess. I guess you could say lemonade. Lemonade. It's that hazy white. I almost want to say like a super Cloudy. blue. Yeah. Cloudy. Lots of bubbles coming up like normal for these. Yep. Okay, three grams Two. of carbs, one sugar. I don't want to touch. So Jessica had her nails done, and she helped me pick hops. My nails were done two weeks night. ago. It's almost time, but they were like a whitish color. I sat and picked hops. And the lupulin in the hops, it's yellow, has dyed her <laughs> nails. So she's freaking out that she can't show I have like Ghostbuster slime, <laughs> slimer looking fingernails. Smell. I like the mm, smell of them. Yeah. But I love lemons, and everyone should know that, right? By uh, now, yeah. Ev everyone would know I love lemons. I love raspberry stuff, and I love lemon stuff. The It has a good mango flavor. Um, I think also in the back... Aroma? That, yeah, sorry, flavor, yeah. Um, but that lemon, I don't know if the lemon's doing it, but it does smell like it's that mango's overdone. Yeah, I would say that out of the three, this is the least of my favorite ones. Least of my favorite. It kind of has the vibe of, uh, what is it, Porch Appeal? Yeah. By yeah. the Mitten. It has that no. peach. Right? Porch Appeal was Oh, uh, Gonzo's. Uh, Gonzo's. Yeah. Yep, kind of no like longer. that. Yep. Okay, let's taste. Did you smell it? <laughs> you don't have to smell it. You can smell it. It smells like mango. I like it for something light, something um, not over up. There's no, I don't, I don't taste an alcohol in it, and something a, a lemonade variant. That's why I like them, and I don't think they're overcarbed at all. Like this is this hits the mark for right. a hard, hard at, seltzer. For at me. first, it tasted like it was overly sweet, like there was a lot of sugar in there. Mm -hmm. But I think now it is okay. You get that mango. I get more of a peach in the aftertaste, but you do get that lemonade yeah. in there also. Yep. This is, is this the last, this might be the last mango one. Because I drank them all and then saved just three. <laughs> but I like them, I mean, for, for what the hard seltzer market is these days, I like these the best. Because... It's a lemon to begin with, and well, then so just something far. in there. Yeah, yes, yes. But the originals, the spark, the spike, the sparkling waters. I haven't liked any of them like I like these. These aren't, and some of those are called spiked sparkling water. It yep. seems like there's a lot more carbonation in those than in this. Mm -hmm. This doesn't. The carbonation seems a, a way flatter, and I think you could tell by the bubbles if you looked at some of the other ones. Um, yeah, I like that it's not as carved because I don't feel so yeah. after I drink it. And burping all the time. Yeah. But yeah, I, I think it goes from a mango in the taste to a peach in the aftertaste with some sweetness. I don't, what are they using for sugar? I don't know, but it's like, what, one gram of sugar, three carbs. So it's on Yeah, that. but isn't a, no, the hard a stevia... Something like that. Is it, it a stevia? I, I can't find it. Oh. 
but it tastes small font for you to read. It tastes like there's stevia sweetener, is there? Which is not what we have seen in any of the other yeah. ones. It tastes the the sweetness is different, and that goes into the aftertaste of because this is cane, sh cane sugar and stevia sweetener. So I don't know, lemon juice concentrate. I mean, they're yeah, but one percent juice. I know, but I'm just saying that they're at least they're using lemon juice. Right. Um, for this one, I like mango. I like mango drinks. I like, like peach drinks. Um, I don't think there's really anything bad. I think that aftertaste of that sweetener or something in there. I don't know if it's a flavoring or something, but I would go with a 4.25. Okay. Out of five. Okay. I go four and a half because I like them. They're not perfect. Okay. Um... Three of my friends have checked it in, 3.5. Uh, 4,000 people have checked it in, 3.42. I think so. it's okay. Like I said, it's the least of my favorite out of the three. But I still think it's fine. Yeah. Do they make, does truly in the other ones that we had, like the white cans, do they make a mango version? I have no idea. Version? I'm new to this scene. Because it, it would be... Um, it would be something to see them side by side if that mango flavor carries over to the standard one mm -hmm. also, which I would think uh, they would. They would probably just buy the flavoring in bulk and put it in, but I don't know. We can find it. I don't know. Yeah. We'll have to check. Good? Yes. And us some more. <laughs> so if you like this review, check some more out over there. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.